again tonight with a developing story we've been following out of Mingo County, West Virginia. A deadly ambush style shooting happened Friday night, taking the life of a state police officer and critically wounding a man, sending him to the hospital. It all began Friday with a shots fired call in the Beach Creek area of Mate 1 in Mingo County, West and West Virginia State Police now say this has happened around 2.45 in the afternoon. State police confirmed that 39-year-old Benjamin Baldwin was the initial victim of the shooting. Troopers say Baldwin was shot by Timothy Kennedy, the same suspect who they say eventually shot and killed West Virginia State Trooper Sergeant Corey Maynard. Kennedy has been charged with first degree murder. Communities are mourning the loss of the West Virginia trooper all across the mountain state. Sergeant Maynard was killed while responding to that call for shots fired. According to state police, he was 37 years old, married, and the father of two children who were 13 and 9. Maynard, originally from Belfry, Kentucky, became a sworn member of the West Virginia State Police in 2007. He was a 15-year veteran and spent those years faithfully serving his community. It's been over a decade since West Virginia State Troopers have been killed in the line of duty. The State Police's Chief of Staff, Major Jim Mitchell, is familiar with the grieving process. He also directs the agency's chaplain program, and he'll soon preside as over the funeral for Sergeant Corey Maynard. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue met with Mitchell about how Trooper Maynard's death is affecting the entire agency. Symbols of grief, flags flying at half staff at the West Virginia State Police headquarters in South Charleston, as those that serve and protect across the mountain state mourn the loss of Sergeant Corey Maynard. It takes a special person to do this kind of job. That happened on Friday. We continue to work on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, the work never stops. We continue to push forward in spite of whatever we face, whatever we go through. We still have to work. We don't have the luxury of staying home. We don't have the luxury of not making decisions. We deal with life and death things every day. So we have to move forward. Helping lead the agency through the loss is Chief of Staff Major James Mitchell, who knew Sergeant Maynard personally, meeting the up-and-coming trooper while he was in training for the job. Sergeant Maynard was a very kind person. He was very committed to the state police, to the mission of the state police, to his job as a trooper, extremely committed to that. He treated everyone the same. It didn't matter what your social status was, what your position in the community was, made no difference to him. He treated everyone the same. As the state police prepares to lay Trooper Maynard to rest, Mitchell says what's been keeping the agency going throughout this difficult week has been the ongoing support of the community, adding they will continue to protect and serve them as they grieve the loss of their brother. It doesn't go unnoticed. We have so many good people out there that still do respect law enforcement, that still do respect the state police and uh, specifically, and, and we just really appreciate that. Even as they mourn the loss of one of their own. Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ News Channel 3, Kanawha County. Now, Chief of Staff Mitchell will preside over Trooper Maynard's funeral visitation and will be there from noon to 3. This is when the visitation is set for on Wednesday at Mingo Central High School. The funeral services will then start at 3 and a procession will take Sergeant Maynard on to King Cole Highway. We'll have full coverage on air and online this Wednesday.